for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a callout box with CSS and then how to use CSS3 to apply rounded corners to that callout box. Let's go ahead and get started. You can see here I've actually formatted the H1 and the P tags for this div, but when we look at the source code here, you're going to see that this is just basically a, an individual div with the ID of sample that has this heading tag here and then a paragraph down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up a style just for that div because that's actually what we're formatting. We're not formatting the uh, headings or anything else like that because that's already been done for us. And the first property that I want to add is going to be the width and the height properties. I want to go ahead and say that I want this callout box to be 400 pixels. And I'm going to say that I want the callout box to be, let's say, 90 pixels high. 400 by 90 sounds good for this uh, particular box. And I also want to specify the background color of the box. And I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, I forgot to do that, background color. And I'm going to go ahead and use Dreamweaver CS5's tool here to come in and click right there. And I'm going to choose a, uh, like a blue base color there. And then I'm just going to drag this up here until I get like a light blue. Maybe drag that up a little bit more and then click OK. And now I have a background color selected. And let's go ahead and save that. And I'm actually in live view right now. So when I click over here, you're going to see the uh, effect of that. So now I actually have the call out box. Now I want to go ahead and put some padding on the box. So I'm going to go ahead and do padding and let's say 10 pixels. And there I go. Now my box has a little bit of space around it. Remember, padding is always on the inside. So it'll take on the color of the object. Margin is always on the outside, so it won't take on the color of the object. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and put a border around my callout box. And the uh, border is going to be a one pixel. Um, again, I'm going to select a bluish color here, drag that on up, make it a little bit darker there. And let's try to see what that color looks like and it's going to be solid. And I will save that and click over here and now you'll see that very subtle border around my box. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to use CSS3 to round these corners off. And I'm going to go ahead and I need two CSS statements. One for Mozilla Brace base browsers and the other for WebKit base browsers. So first I'm going to go ahead and put the WebKit browser in here and you can see the properties come up and the property I'm looking for is WebKit border radius. And I'm going to go ahead and put seven, pi or eight, seven pixels of border radius on this box. I will save it and click over here and because I'm in live view, you'll now see the rounding on the corner. You won't see it in design view if you're not in live view. You can see those corners come off square there. You have to be in live view for that. And I like to have the split view with live view over here. But this won't work in Firefox yet. So we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> going to select the Mozilla options and we want the border radius option. There it is right there. And I'm going to go ahead and do seven pixels. And save it. And now it will work in all basically all browsers except for Internet Explorer. So that's how you create a callout box with CSS. 
Also, if you're interested in seeing the high-definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.